I bought some rocker blocks and uh, they're stamp mounts that have a bit of a curve to them so when you stamp them you kind of rock them and supposedly you are going to get fabulous results by using them. Um, I played with them for a few minutes and immediately I was not happy but then I played with them a few more minutes and I was happy so if you have these and you stopped after the first couple minutes of playing with them and decided they stank, try them again and I'm going to show you how to use these so hopefully you will get some good results and at first I was thinking I wasted my money buying these but now I'm pretty happy with them so without further ado let's do some stamping okay I have grabbed a few stamps of different types so that I can experiment a little bit and um, first I have what they recommend which is a rubber, red rubber stamp it is unmounted you can see it's just the red rubber there's no cushion or anything on it and the way you use these is by uh, inking it up good with an ink pad <laughs> I'm just using plain dye based ink just stamping up basic black and I have a stack of paper probably about um, eight sheets of so of just scrap paper here to give it a little cushion because I have a sneaky feeling that my stamping desk is, is not completely flat so this will just make it a little bit easier but you don't really want to use a foam mat with these they said set the edge of your block closest to you flush against the, the uh, paper and then you want to rock forward and there we go we've got Santa and his reindeer pretty well stamped now I want to try a um, clear stamp and I love this design, but I've had a really hard time stamping with it. It's the Lace Doily by Kaiser Craft. And it's such a pretty design, but I always end up with that center, pesky center part, not, um, not stamping well. So I did have some good results with the rock block My first try was not good, but then I put the stack of paper under my mount, and that helped tremendously. And I read the directions, which I didn't do at first. So uh, read the directions when in doubt. I'm going to set the edge flush to the paper and I'm going to push and rock it up and see a perfect doily so I'm very happy with this because this stamp I have not been using because it's such a pain in the butt now it's not this is one of the stamps in that set also and it is a uh, just a lace border and um, again I was having a little bit of trouble getting all the detail to stamp you just want to make sure you don't get ink on the edge rockers I got these on sale at joanne.com. They were 40% off, which made them $8.99 a set. You got four of the um, smaller ones. You got these four. And then I bought the other set that had the two larger blocks. They were $8.99 each set. And um, I've seen them everywhere from 10 bucks to 30 bucks. So I don't really know what the exact retail price is. Uh, so shop around if you are interested in buying these because there's huge price differences between companies but they're made by Crafters Companion and these blue ones are the Claudine Helmuth ones and uh, the purple ones are the originals and both are the, exactly the same except for the color here is a cushion mounted stamp this is one of the Tim Holtz ones and um, it brings the stamp if you can I don't know if you can see that um, it brings it up a little higher than the rockers so they don't really recommend using this type of stamp with it but as you can see it works just fine I think I need a little more ink on that The downside being you can't exactly place your stamp exactly where it's going to be, so you wouldn't want to do this in something where you need precise placement of your stamp. Now I'm going to try a Tattered Angel large stamp that has been giving me a little trouble. Unfortunately, these mounts were a little bit too small for my large butterfly that I used the other day, but um, it's going to work fine for this large flourish. That's loud. <laughs> All right, I think it will. At least I haven't used it yet, but I assume it will work just fine. Yeah, that stamped really well. 